Patrick, so what are you guys doing during this this, this bye week? One of the first two bye weeks that you have. I mean, what is kind of the focus for you guys this week as you guys go through practice? Uh, just really the focus on us, you know, get better at our technique. As we need to uh, correct and fix, you know, uh, we have a lot, a lot of missed tackles, so that's what the main focus is right now. Just try to clean up those things. What did you guys kind of see, um, obviously, over the weekend getting the win? I mean, what did it kind of? What did you guys kind of do as a defense? Where can you guys kind of improve? And do you think that some of the worries that people might outside of the locker room have, do you think they're legitimate? Or? I mean, like the worries outside of the locker room, I mean, they really don't see what's going on, like you know, on the field. Like, so we try to keep those comments like out of our head and stuff. So we really just try to focus on us. But our main focus right now is just to try to limit the missed tackles. You know, just try to just be the best defense that we can be. How's it, how can how do you work on that? I guess what what are some of the ways that coaches kind of I guess emphasized it and made you work on it? Uh, really drills, you know, just like taking the thinking out of it. You know, just trying to like play football. You know, they just trying to relax us and just let us go. Any other worries outside of you know miss tackles? Not really. You know, we really mentally sound. You know, a few hiccups here, here and there, but it's, it's football. You know, you don't have a few hiccups. So uh, like I said, our main focus is just trying to improve on the miss tackles. Some people may have bought up the assumption that you know the defense isn't used to you know an offense that's scoring this fast. You know, what would you say to that? Uh, that's good that they're scoring fast. You know, that just means we got to step up and get stops. The more we, the more stops we get, the more they get the ball, the more points they can put up. So that's what we really got to focus on. Um, for both Stefan Sullivan and, and Racy, I mean, what are some of the things that make them so hard? I guess maybe guard, um, and as they're both going to probably get more of a time this upcoming weekend with some of the guys down. Uh, they're really big and physical. You know, Racy is like what, six two, six three, uh, two twenty five. Uh, Stefan is about six five, six six, two forty. So you know, two big physical wide receivers that you really can't watch. And you can move both of them tight end if you want to. Put them on the linebacker. The linebacker's not going to be able to cover them. I have trouble covering them myself. So that's just being able to utilize them and put them on the field and like make, make them get touches is going to be critical. With the with the venue going down, have you kind of like kind of you know changed your preparation a bit? You know, kind of like you know and, and increase your your role. Uh, you know, my role always been the same. You know, I'm gonna be vocal when I need to be vocal. But if I know I don't, you know, it's just a thing. Like that's a leader going down, so uh, we just gotta keep the same mentality. The next man up, you know, try to get whoever that next guy is to be really uh, focused and uh, just try to play football from there. We think about uh, uh, Ed Ingram coming back to the team. <laughs> uh, we missed Ed, man. We missed Ed. Ed's my class, you know, so I really been around him a lot. Uh, not so much as the past year. I, you know, let him be to himself, you know, because he got things going on, getting things going on. So really having him back is a blessing to our team, a blessing to him. Obviously, it's only been one day, but I mean, can could you kind of put in, put yourself in his shoes? I mean, how tough is it, do you think, to be able to kind of work yourself back into a team like this, especially after a year? Ed, man, Ed stayed focused, you know. Ed been in here working out, like, off time we had, like, the few months we had off, Ed was in here working out, man, I seen him. Ed been working out, like, we going to practice, we come back from practice, Ed going out and practice himself. So, so, basically, him just staying focused and staying in shape and then trusting God through the whole process is really big. What do you think about uh, Derek Stingley getting his first interception? Uh, I'm happy for Derek, man. I'm celebrating with him, man. Uh, Derek comes out to practice every day, like, 110%, you know, so for freshmen to do that, have all the success he's been having, and he's still coming out of practice and get one ten percent. You know, that's a that's a uh, thing that you don't really get about a lot of people. As you guys, uh, you guys have kind of have to have that next man up mentality, especially with a lot of guys on the line on the line out. You got a couple linebackers down. I mean, is it? Um, what do you guys kind of do as a defense to kind of step up and kind of raise your level, especially with so many eyes on you guys? I mean, we're really close as a unit. You know, we uh, have talks, good defensive talks. You know, just good things. Cross that we need to get across. You know, if we keep everything simple, don't try to get outrageous with anything. You know, just let guys know we hear from you. Y'all need help learning the playbook. We'll help. You know, whatever it takes for us to be the uh, defense that we want to be, we will be. You got any plans for the bye week? Mm -hmm. I'm chilling, man. I'm gonna watch some film, chill. That's it. Try to stay in shape. You, you want to uh, catch the uh, Livonia Wildcats on Friday? Uh, I think they play Woodlawn. I might, I might ride up there, check them out, see what they got going on. How do you kind of do? You kind of think back on how you kind of played this year. I mean, what are some things you think you've done so well? I mean, it's maybe a third of the way through the season now, so it's maybe a chance to maybe think about what you've kind of done. What have you kind of seen out of yourself, and how do you, I guess, kind of improve from here? I haven't been great, you know. I got to clean up some things, you know, some footwork and stuff. You know, I ain't uh, what I could be yet. Uh, I got to clean those things up. I get, I get uh, some stops here and there on uh, key moments, but other than that, you know, I got to step up my game. Thank you.